In this problem, we're told the height of the Washington Monument is measured to be 170 meters on a day when the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. What will its height be on a day when the temperature falls to minus 10 degrees Celsius? So what you want to imagine here is this monument is like a beam. And so what they tell us is its height, right, 170 meters. And you can think about this as just a length. So it's going to be 170 meters at 35 degrees Celsius. And what we're trying to do is find the new height when the, te uh, the temperature changes to minus 10 degrees Celsius. And we know when something gets colder, we know its length is going to shrink, right? Because the molecules are going to, or they're, they're not expanding, right? So what we want to do is basically solve for H. And so the way we do this is by using a specific, form, uh, specific formula, which basically tells us length, or the change in length, is equal to alpha, which is the coefficient of linear expansion, times the initial length, times the change in temperature. So this is the formula we're going to use. And so keep in mind what this is going to do. It's going to solve for the change in length because we want to know its initial state and then we're going to compare it to its final state in terms of temperature and we're going to find the change in it. And if we just subtract that from our initial, it's going to give us the new uh, height or length uh, at our new temperature. So basically, delta L, right, so the change in length is equal to alpha. And so alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion. And they give this to you. They tell us to assume it's marble. And so if you look in the table in your textbook, it's going to tell you what it is. It's basically 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6. So 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6. That's going to be uh, the coefficient of linear expansion. And then we have the L0, which is the initial length. So we know initially it's 170 meters. And then delta T is just the change in temperature. So we know we're going to start at 35 degrees Celsius and we're going to go to minus 10. So the way you do this is you take the final, right, changes the final minus initial. So minus 10 minus 35. And so keep in mind, this is going to become a negative number. So this is just minus 10 minus 35 is minus 45. So it's going to be negative, which makes sense because we know it's going to shrink because it gets colder. So what you want to do is just multiply this out. And so keep in mind, this right here is degrees Celsius. This is meters. And this was inverse degrees Celsius. You can see that right here. And so they cancel. And you're just going to have meters, which is what we want. So go ahead and do this. So uh, plug in your calculator, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6, multiply that by 170, and then multiply it by minus 45. And so when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get the change in length is equal to minus 0 0.019125, or minus 0 0.019125. And so keep in mind, this is going to be a really small amount, and so we know we're in meters, so this is going to be meters. So we know the change is going to be negative, right? It's going to shrink this amount. So if we want to find the height now when it's at minus 10, well, we just got to take the initial, which was 170, and then add the change in length. And it's, since it's negative, it's going to become less. And then that's going to give us our new height. So you're just going to take 170 and then plus this number right here. So 0 0.019125. So if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get it equals, or the new height or length, right? We're just going to say H because they ask for the height. Uh, it's equal to 169.98080 uh, and so on. I'm just going to round 198.98 or 169.98, sorry. And so keep in mind, this is going to be in meters. So our height when the temperature falls to minus 10 degrees Celsius is 169.98 meters. So yeah, this is your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.